Hello all. In this video, I want to talk about Code Basics Resume Project Challenge 2. This is a real-time use case. I can say uh, the use case is this: like there is a Atlic Mart is a growing manufacturing you know company based on Gujarat. Currently, they are operating their business in uh, Surat, Ahmedabad, and Vadodara, and they want to uh, you know expand their business to other cities. So. But before expanding to the business to other cities, they are facing some uh, issues or challenges uh, in terms of their services. So some of the customers of uh, Atlic are not uh, are not able to uh, extend their uh, contracts due to Atlic's uh, support uh, problem, and hence Atlic decided to come first of all. Uh, you know, improve their services to the uh, customers and then expand to other cities. So the problem that they are facing on the uh, product, you know, delivery part, okay, or they are not able to deliver in, in full or on time uh, for some of the uh, products list. So they want to overcome and improve their, uh, uh, you know, uh, delivery rate, on time delivery rate and in full delivery rate and then they want to uh, expand to other cities so that is a uh, the problem statement so here is a as a data analyst uh, we have to you know work on it and uh, try to give our own um, insights to the business so that they will take it from there so that is a whole idea and quickly explain um, this is a dashboard which i created uh, simple and best and uh, this is completely responsive if you see this is a uh, you know uh, dashboard first page we can say click mart supply chain dashboard that is fast moving consumer goods uh, sector so ot is you know i already given all the uh, abbreviations here we can filter data you know uh, through months okay now uh, there are six months data which is available so hence we are able to see six uh, months here if you click on it, then the data will be changed. Okay, so if you see uh, in in April uh, first, how much order uh, you know they got it, and you know what is the on time delivery percentage, what is the in full delivery status, and what is the on time in full delivery status. So we can see in the matrix and orders on the particular day how many they got. Okay, what are those percentage? Okay, all these things will be you know visualized here. So this is the day one and uh, let us say um, if you want to filter by city, let us say I will go with Surat. Okay. So for Surat, uh, these many orders came okay, and these are the uh, their uh, on time or in full delivery status. And uh, we can also uh, you know, um, filter by customers. Okay. So if you see one customer and let me go to another customer Vivek stores and Vijay stores see this so we can we can you know uh, easily filter it by city as well and month date and then customer yeah so when you click uh, this button then it will redirect to metric performance over time see here so this is a you know a switch uh, option that we used. Then if you just click on Control Enter, then it will redirect to this page where you will see the different values for in full uh, delivery. And if you again click Control uh, click, then it will redirect to this page. So and this is the LIFR is a you know line line fill rate and even if you want to see the output of this then you will see so this is the trend that we can able to easily attend understand right and this is a value fill rate uh, this is the uh, you know another one okay so there are uh, uh, these pictures are very much identical so if you go to next page then just click control enter here then it will take us to the next page where we can see product insights okay this product insights again um, you know uh, total products uh, got ordered and out of that how many got delivered how many got delayed okay if this these products right then we can easily see in a pie chart 
so all green on you know yellow orange you know uh, all the colors are you know uh, given based on the number of days delayed okay so zero is on 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 you no know, on time minus 1 is a uh, you know one day delay two day delay and three days delays plus 1 is one day ahead of you know actual delivery date they delivered and again there is a small matrix that we we can see in uh, spark lines okay for lifr and uh, vofr and we can also see the quantity of the category uh, in each city right so here the diary is performing very well so uh, this is about this page and if you go to the next page where we can see um, actual report insights okay these are the you know these are not limited to this page but uh, for example i just written some points like you know if you see uh, among all three categories diary are the more more uh, you know um, uh, the highest category where orders are coming okay so the beverages are the category where uh, uh, you know uh, orders are getting low and uh, if you see all three uh, categories surat is the only one city uh, where it is getting lower orders right so i mention all these three uh, here the similar way um you know who is uh, uh, whose orders are getting delayed you know top three uh, customers and who are giving a more uh, business or uh, or in terms of a quantity so i just highlighted here and this is again this is sample matrix in 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 june month they are uh, uh, performing uh, very low okay in terms of ot if if ot if lifr and vofr so this is small matrix and uh, you know uh, visual charts where we have to focus and then improve our services so this is the idea of entire uh, this business statement hope this may be useful i used uh, power bi to you know to do all this works right guys thank you so much